when your heart is full of pain who loves you now then again who loves you I do who loves you I do what I do is I start at the bottom and I come up and around, down and up, up and around, down and up and out. That way you get a graduated hair stroke. So you get that sort of cha-cha-cha. 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 Now, if I'm sitting behind the client or the patient, I'm holding the needles straight in, and I come up all the needles, down all the needles, and then up and out. Up, down, and up and out. Up, down, and up and out. That'll give me my, my hair strokes. Now, you've got to be careful so that you lie them down more of an angle yeah try to go with their hair and at this point the hairs tend to grow from the top down they're no no longer coming up and out so you then you start about here you push pull up and out push pull up and out push pull up and out that'll give you your graduated hair stroke so i want to show you a couple other things you can connect the bottom of the beginning of the hair stroke with the middle of the one next to it so it's sort of like a each hair stroke with the one next to it okay. so you're starting to get more realistic of a hair stroke now you understand most people will have a little of their own hair not not it not everything but uh, this varies from person to person but what I want to share with you today is so let's say I've got three needles here all the needles are in the skin all the needles are in the skin cha cha and then cha on the last hair stroke And then one other little trick I wanted to share with you. Some people don't want to actually see hair strokes, but you want a little texture. So then I lay all three or all five needles down and I make three hair strokes at one time. When you look at a needle, look at the footprint of the needle. If I do the footprint tapping, that's what I'm going to get is that little teeny thing there and but it's made of little dots now if I take the three and I go like this then this is the footprint that I get so you can see the little three rows so you can literally make three hair strokes at a time don't need a lot of pressure but people who do calligraphy really do well on brow hair strokes because they know that the more pressure they put in the more color they get in so we've made a, a quite a few little hair strokes right there. Again, you can texturize it by connecting the bottom of one hair stroke to the middle of the next one.
Your tender look and sweet caress surround me.